Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner, and today we are looking at the SIG Rattler BB gun. This is SIG's first BB gun with select fire capability. It's a really sweet little package. Let's dive in. So the Rattler is a replica of SIG's real steel Rattler, and this is an SBR by nature. Obviously in the air gun world, we don't have SBRs, so this is just your run of the mill BB gun. Uh, the cool thing here is that you have semi-auto and burst fire, three round burst capability, which is neat. Not full auto, but that's all right. Three round burst is plenty fun, trust me. Uh, so starting at the front, you have kind of your three prong flash hider setup here. Obviously there's no flash to contend with here on just a five and a half inch barrel. It's very very short, very compact, but they do rate it for 300 feet a second. And obviously we'll put it over the chronograph and see what it actually does in the real world, whether it lives up to that or not. Uh, the gun overall is under 24 inches, so a very small package and it has a folding stock. You pull up at the back there and you're able to fold that closed. Uh, that's a very, very small backpackable package. Uh, overall, really neat setup here. Uh, coming up to the top of the gun, we have a full length Picatinny rail here. We have a elevation adjustable front sight. If you can see it there, that does flip down, flips up as well, obviously. Uh, and then we have kind of a two aperture uh, AR style rear that is windage adjustable and again that flips down at will you can obviously mount your lights lasers optics red dots all that sort of stuff and you do have m lock slots on both sides and on the bottom if you want to accessorize to your heart's content uh, you also have sling studs up at the front so if you are looking to run maybe a single point sling or something like that you can do that with the rattler as well now running back a bit, we'll flip open that folding stock. Uh, you do have your bolt catch here, which is functional, uh, but you don't have a flip up port on the other side to let you know when it is actually locked back to the rear. So it can be a little tricky to tell, at least in my use thus far, uh, when you might have that bolt lock back. Obviously when you are changing your mags is gonna be probably the most prime time for that to happen. Uh, and you do have an ambi mag release, which is kind of neat. So you've got that over on the left-hand side as well as the right. So uh, same thing with the selector switch, you got it on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. Uh, so again, kind of real steel functionality there with a lot of SIGs guns being ambidextrous, this one is no exception. Diving into the mag a little bit. This is a unique magazine system. I've not seen anything like this before. You have a 30 round capacity that follower pulls down. You do have a slot at the bottom that the follower locks into. And of course, loading BBs right there in that port. Uh, very easy to do, no issues with this so far in our testing. Uh, to get to the CO2 port, you just pull that bottom piece off. You see it slides off like so. You would load your CO2 up in the housing here and then just go ahead and hand tighten it. It's really easy to do. No no extra tools. I love that SIG. You get a big thumbs up from me on that one. Now, one of the cool things uh, about the Rattler here that I've not seen before on any other kind of like AR variant stuff is that you actually can't put the gun into safe unless the gun is cocked. That's how a real AR works. So if we pull that charging handle back, then we can throw it into safe. Uh, obviously flipping to semi or all the way to the rear is that three round burst, very easy to do. Uh, and the fact that they've made it ambidextrous is nice and easy as well. Now we don't have any CO2 or BBs in it, uh, but trying out the trigger, uh, the trigger on this gun is actually quite realistic. Got to take out the mag to actually get it to function. Um, but I would say this is like a three and a half pound trigger, uh, which again, for a AR style variant BB gun is probably the most realistic I have felt to date, which is really nice. And that says quite a bit. Uh, the other cool feature before we head out to the range on the Rattler is that you can take this down just like your real steel AR. So we go ahead, push on those pins. I'll use a pen here cause well, I like making my life easier get those pins out and they do uh, retain themselves. So you've got your detents in there and you can actually just take the upper right off. Yep. Sneak it around there. And the hand, the handy thing about this is that if you need to clear a jam, you need to get to the barrel, you have something, a BB floating around in there, whatever might happen to you, this is gonna give you the ability to clear that on your own. So SIG, not only keeping it realistic, but also handy for the user to self-service if necessary. All right, that about wraps it up for our in-studio segment here with the Rattler, but let's head out to the range now, see how many shots we're getting, what kind of velocity we're getting, and play around with that burst fire mode because I am eager to do just that. Let's head out. 
One quick thing I wanted to mention before we get to our accuracy, shot count, and all that stuff and velocities. Uh, the gun does have a blowback mechanism inside of it, and I'll show you kind of how much it moves here. You can see it jumping. But you're not gonna see it, obviously, because there is nothing open here on the side. So just know it does have a little bit of a recoil impulse aiding in that kind of realistic feel. Uh, not as strong as some others out there, but blowback nonetheless. All right, friends, so performance on the SIG Rattler. Let's talk about shot count first. So off of a fresh single 12 gram CO2 cartridge, this is about 70, 75 shots somewhere in there on semi-auto. Obviously, if you're running this thing on three round burst, you are gonna get less shots than that. But that's pretty decent shot count. Temperature dependence, a little cold here in Cleveland, uh, but not too bad at all in semi-auto. They're taking you know, a shot a second. So uh, pretty darn good there. Velocity wise, we then put a new fresh CO2 in it. Before we did accuracy, you are running a 5.1 grain BB at 330 feet per second, which out of a little tiny barrel that this gun has, is very solid and they only rated at 300 so to be outperforming that is always a good thing to see now as far as accuracy goes you are looking at about a uh, two and a half inch group here out of the daisy bbs these are their standard steel bbs uh not too bad or zinc rather but not too bad uh you know you got a lot of those going in the same hole and honestly if you didn't have this one down low here you got a really nice one inch group so Accuracy is there, but the Air Venturi's overall out of those 10 shots performing just a little bit better. And this was kind of on par with everything we saw. Everything was in that like inch and a half, two inch group uh, size there, which is, this is right at about an inch and a half. So solid accuracy overall, and it's really aided by the nice trigger on this gun. This is like a high-end AR trigger. So SIG's done a really good job with this. It's gonna aid in your accuracy. And if you throw a red dot uh, or a low power variable optic or something like that to enhance that realism, Factor, it's also going to aid your accuracy. So something to keep in mind, but a ton of fun, three round burst, semi-auto, it's all running good. Just make sure you're not overfilling the mag. That is one thing we noticed. If you do go over that 30 round mark, cause you can buy a couple BBs, uh, you may run into some jamming issues, but outside of that, uh, all good out of the SIG Rattler, good stuff. All right, wrapping up the SIG Rattler, this gun is a lot of fun. I think it's meant to be a lot of fun and really nothing more. Uh, but for me, this represents what, in my opinion, is the nicest and most realistic AR variant BB gun on the market to date. Obviously, the Select Fire versus Full Auto, you guys have your opinions of that. I think this is a ton of fun. And the fact that they're giving you a really good quality trigger is something we really haven't seen in a replica of an AR to date. So they're doing a great job with that. Uh, and again, it's a ton of fun. That's what it's meant to be. You can backpack this thing just by folding the stock, which is really easy to do. The fact you could take it down, I mean, they've added a ton of realism into the system and you're only using one CO2 cartridge per magazine. You still get that nice realistic 30 round capacity. Uh, this thing's a good time. You guys are gonna enjoy it a ton. And well, for well under 200 bucks, I definitely think this is one that should be on your wish list this year if you're cruising around the website for a BB gun. As always, we appreciate you watching. Thank you. Uh, we will see you next time, of course. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.